Hello America, hello world, hello YouTube, hello you red brick people, uh, I was just watching Spartan Red, uh, you, you could still hear his voice, but it timed out on my phone already, just the TV's trying to catch up, it was turned on at a different time, so the TV's stupid anyway, so uh, I was watching Spartan Red chill out zone tonight, and uh, they were at a particular building right there and uh, I had enough like the fellas on the crew tonight real good middle guys is a plumber okay James James is a plumber right so James being a plumber you appreciate the fact that I call that a hydrodynamic dynamo electric system what you see there you know I install I did some plumbing in my day I did the um, stuff for the paint industry I installed robots uh, into you know all the way from the primer cup to the paint uh, from one inch pipe all the way down to three eighths line into the robots uh, real interesting we cap uh, calibrated all the pressures and everything for the uh, robots to do the painting so we used a lot of pressure and um, you know and, and so forth so I have a great understanding of uh, things of you know utilizing pressure to create electricity and that's why I believe what you're looking at right there is a building that was a uh, hydro uh, dynamo electric system okay and you look at just the schematic of that and many of the buildings that I looked at in the past had the similar uh, patterns in using uh, water and you'll notice in that image there's you know water around in that by that building always like that the star floor it's always water 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 and we use dynamos and so forth but for those who don't know what a dynamo is you can go look it up and educate yourself about that uh, about dynamos and generators they convert mechanical rotation to electric power okay so you can go learn about it, a lot of stuff and I'll give a goobly gob about the fighting of the AC and the DC and the so forth but that's not what I want to get into right now because I can get in the sermon just about that so um, I, I just want you to take a look at that and say to yourself look they lied to us about the past about everything so there we are looking at that you know and there it is a building of the past where we don't have a narrative of but we start putting pieces together and as we uh, unite and become a collective we'll start seeing uh, and now you know you got a plumber in the midst so now you're gonna have a new perspective of when you look at some of these things that you're seeing just like when you see a water coming from these mountains of these red brick buildings built the plumber will think about the irrigation system and how they had uh, their water infrastructure set up uh, and they all you always notice they have fucking lavish pools and so forth around uh, part of again once again part of uh, creating electricity and so forth uh, you know we need to learn more about telluric fields uh, and electromagnetic waves that are all around us and you know a lot of people can't even fathom that you are dense light your holographic image your electricity trapped in a carbon fiber suit but anyway that's another topic all by itself so my uh, eagle eyes have see it see something there that sure enough is nothing new under the sun and it sure resembles a motor buildings that are motors you know just like some of us can see and some of us can't so this isn't an argument it's just food for thought it's to put stuff on the table to start trying to understand the past and my plight is to show more people that there's a group of people behind this and I call them energy vampires and that's for certain the arc see you know so uh, we all have to be a collective and we'll get more accomplished 
than them freaking energy vampires. So, red bricks to you all. Thanks for the video tonight. You fellas did a great job. But I just had to point that out that that building there is believed is a hydro dynamic. Uh, dynamo electric system using pressurized water for electricity probably other means too from uh, vibration how they have things set up and so forth and even get vibration from the globe which you know bounces back and to feed into the dynamo on the exterior of it for uh, vibrations just like how they did the windows and doors for sound vibrations well I think they knew more about that than we did and, used to, and understood telluric fields and the ley lines and you'll see wherever their star forts are on ley lines and all our cities are on these ley lines so anyway some cool shit fellas because you always make me think deeper and harder and it's red bricks together Eagle Eye Crew, Red Bricks, Rock and Roll, man. That's some cool shit. Chill out. Go to the Chill Out Zone with the Eagle Eye Crew. Yeah, you was great, Mike. You was great, James, Derek. Great show. Peace. Red Bricks, Eagle Eye Crew. Red Brick, Bigot Bob. I'm out of here. Peace. Red Bricks.